Philip Lowe is gone, not being reappointed after a seven-year term ending in September. So with him gone, the question becomes, who will become the next governor? Now, Peter Dutton argues that it shouldn't be anyone who was appointed in a higher position by the Liberal or Labour Party, but a prior Reserve Bank governor said that this was a silly suggestion, and that makes sense. I understand Peter Dutton's argument that you don't want them to be a pawn of the government, but they really won't be. The Reserve Bank is separate than the government. Just because they prior worked in government doesn't mean that they'll be doing these back alley deals or working to benefit the Labour or Liberal Party. That's not how a bank operates. It doesn't even really make sense from my understanding of the situation. We Weirdly enough, the RBA put out 51 recommendations, and one of them is they wanted to repeal the ability for the government to overrule the bank. Now, this has never happened before in Australia's history, but why would you want to take that power away? 